Shalom from Jerusalem with you today, Pastor Daniel Rosen with the word of encouragement. The message is for today is significant and like always I say, powerful and meaningful. Amen. It's a process of pruning. I want to we more understanding today all about the pruning process. Amen. God is pruning us so we will bloom more beautifully and produce grateful fruit. Amen. Only Abba, Father God, perfectly understand the best pruning time in our personal hearts. Amen. Like the plants, we benefit from the value of pruning. God wants to prune us for great growing and different seasons. Amen. I want to be open right now in book of John in New Testament, chapter 15, from 1 to 3. I'm the true grape wine, and my father is a gardener. He cut off every branch of mine, don't produce fruit, and he prunes the branches that do bear fruit, so they will produce even more. You have already been pruned and purified by the message I have given to you. It's a powerful hallelujah. We see like Yeshua, Messiah, Jesus Christ himself was really pruned. We all must be willing to submit to the Abba Father's pruning in our hearts. Amen. And we're glad Adonai Elohim, Lord God, chose us to be pruned so we can bear more fruit for His glory. Amen. Today I want to talk about the four steps, victorious ways God preparing for all of us in this season of pruning. Amen. Faith Purpose, once we become like King Jesus, Yeshua Melech, be his image, reflection in the broken world. In this broken world, and you open the news and you're hearing the situation, it gives you sadness, depression, sleeplessness, and all kind of fear and depression. But God is really encouraged us today. We in this season of time. You know, salvation is the instant, but sanctification is the process. Amen? Instance, like you put instant coffee and you put immediately. Oh, that's melting so fast. Yeah? That's why you receive salvation, you are instant. But sanctification is the always process. And I see in Bible tell us that the sanctification in God's will for our lives and soul in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, 3. It is God's will that you keep away from every temptation, sexual sin as a mark of your devotion to Him. Sanctification is the process of becoming more like Messiah Christ by purifying our hearts and minds through repentance, prayer, and spiritual practices. Amen? It take time to become patient, to learn how to have joy in difficult seasons, in difficult situations, in difficult times, and develop willpower to resist different temptations. It's not something we can achieve in our own strength. We have to be developed by God. And what, that's where processing, process, processing, pruning comes. Amen? Now I want to be more understanding about what is the pruning. What is the pruning exactly for your understanding? In nature, pruning is the process done to fruit bearing plants to facilitate okay healthy grow as believers in Yeshua Jesus compare our spiritual grow that are grape wine plant 
in order to bear spiritual fruits, see in Galatians chapter 5 from 19 to 23. Can we open Galatians chapter 5, 19 to 23? And walk in the pur purpose God has for you. You have to be pruned. Amen. Open Galatians chapter 5, 19. When you follow desires of your sinful nature, the results are very clear. Sexual immorality, impurity, lustful pleasures. And look in 20. Idolatry, hostility, quarreling, je jealousy, outbursts of anger, selfish ambition, desertion, division. And 21. Envy, drunkenness, wild per parties, and other scenes like this. Let me tell you again, as I have before, that anyone living that sort of life will not inherit the kingdom of God. It's very painful, very hard. It's a harsh verse, brethren. But look in 22. But the Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKodesh, produce this kind of fruit. In our lives, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and 23, gentleness and self-control. There is no law against these things. Amen. Like the gardener tends to plant, God is overseeing your grow so that you will mature in Messiah Christ. And live the life he created you for. Reason for pruning, brethren. We are in the pr pruning season right now. I don't know how you, but we all of us, especially Israel, in this challenge time. We in the pruning season time right now. God prune us for our good so that we can be spiritually healthy and fruitful. Amen? Why does God prune us? First step, brethren, to remove what the dead are dying. Now we go to the steps, four steps to understanding. First, removing what really dead and or dying already. It's process of smelling and uh, dirty uh, it's called the water ready mara, meaning bitter, smelly, and bring diseases and poison. As you mature in Messiah Christ Jesus, there will be things that you no longer desire as desire for God increase. Amen? There may also be things that you try to hold on to. Things. That God wants you to let go of. In both cases, God will remove those items from your personal life. He may be isolate you by placing you in the new environment, fresh environment. Amen. Sometimes in you sitting in one room and it's dirty and and uh, uh, so much dust. You must open the window to have fresh air. That's what God say. He give you, he put you in a new environment. Fresh, clean, in good, healthy oxygen. Amen. He will give you insight about something true, intention toward you so that you can take the necessary step to cut, tie with that person. Amen. Whatever it happens, Remember that crucial to remove dead things that there is space, new things to grow. That's meaning all the dead, unhealthy, okay, things must to remove from our personal life to we be growing more in God. Amen. Second step or step second way. To, for the pruning process is to remove what infected or disease. Infected, it's, you know, I call this plasma and you have the wound and you're holding the wound 
with clean material or clean uh, cotton and, and you stop the bleeding, that's meaning it's covered by plasma. In Hebrew or in Aramaic language, it's aruka, healing plasma balm. Okay, that's meaning God wants to really remove all the infected diseases and the area that's sick will never be able to grow to this full potential. Amen? Until this healed, it will always be bound and restricted in some ways. Through patterns, we see improvement or develop in the childhood traumas from the past and influence from the culture have shaped our thinking. Once in Messiah Christ, we have to allow God to renew our minds so we no longer think and act according to pattern of the world. Amen? And I see this, this type of pruning may look like God instructing you to guard your heart and mind by changing who you follow and listen to, what you watch, or who you take advice from. That's very important. Remember, I always praying for God to give us wisdom with understanding, discernment and anointing. Or I call this wisdom, anointing, and discernment. Amen? That's what we very important need in this, uh, in this season of dark world. Amen? He also revealed the root of your voices and securities and fears and teach you how to walk in total freedom. Amen? Our ministry is living stone, but our base, our foundation is house of freedom. That's why we want to bring freedom. People be free from the past, free from the, all the infection, all the diseases of this world. Amen? Spiritually and physically. It may mean forgiving that person who abused you, finding the love and acceptance in Messiah Christ instead of this kind of romantic relationship or seeking counseling or work through childhood trauma. Pay attention for this. It's very serious. This type of pruning can be especially painful because it's like surgery. God has to open the wound to heal it. Sometimes we need to open the wound, purify, clean, disinfect, and close again with clean, pure. Amen? Third step, brethren, is to remove what is hindering you. Remove everything that uh, is really hiding things. God disciplined us for our good. For our good. Yeah, really. Sometimes we don't understand why we're passing so heavy tests. God is really disciplining us for, for our good in order that we may share it. His wisdom, knowledge, understanding, power of miracles, and of course, the salvation. Because we the, in this world, we need to save more souls, bring the hope to the broken people, be in restoration to the people who is wounded, and depressed and lonely. You are the channel of healing. Amen? You're not only by word Christian believer, followers of Christ. You're not. You are the channel of hope to bring freedom. Freedom from all the past. And we see no discipline seems pleasant on the time, but painful. Later on, Whoever it produce a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. I read in this in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 10 to 11. Book of Hebrews chapter 10, 12, 10 to 11. And I see this pruning importance for removing things that are poisoning and bad for you. Amen. Sometimes Abba, Father God, has removing good things that are good for you. Removing some people who is poisoning, bad influence, and removing some areas. Sometimes apartment, we need to move to the other place or people who are living in this apartment. We need to change. He's he removing good things that are good for you. 
Amen? And why? Because sometimes it's good for me, but God is want to remove you from this comfort zone to put you in the better place and, and you become growing more mature. You be hear the voice of God. Amen? If left un, unchecked, they will hinder you, spiritual growth in the long run. Often, what hold us back are people or environments, but habits and mindsets. I hope you understand the third step, the third way, amen, of pruning process. Now we go to the fur for the important one, amen, to keep you focused and on the right perspective. Oh, right perspective. I, this is my life. Hallelujah. Trusting in the Lord with all your heart. Remember Proverbs chapter 3, 5 to 6. It's my favorite Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 3, 5 to 6. Trust totally in the Lord with all your heart. So do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do and He will show you with the path to take. Hallelujah. Without pruning, trees, branches will grow in different direction. You know, sometimes you need to cut branches and they're growing up. Like I, I bring to my mama the plant and this beautiful bamboo plant. And I start to cutting slowly, slowly in the sides and it's growing very high. It's beautifully. That's why it's a process to pruning trees, branches will grow in different direction. That's meaning it's, you, it's a process, amen? There is no focus for the season of those branches. Grow leaves and bear fruit. But eventually, too many branches become more of burden than blessing. Oh, Practically, this can be look like busyness. We can become so passionate about doing things for God that we forget to do things with Him and His peace in His, in His important place. You might start serving in the multiple areas and church to bring glory to God. On the flip side, you may be chasing after you go. Pursue promotions, dating, starting uh, busyness and growing your influence. And I see this, we in the process, sometimes the people so busy for God. They forget they must work in, with God, not for God only. Amen. With God together. We have to allow God to lead us so that we don't become burdened. And over, over exhausted with things he never told us to take. On things that we uh, distract us from his will. For a while, it may look like you have it all together. But in the end, your fate will sophisticate. And you really crumble for the process. process. Allow God to set your priorities and focus, please. Don't burden yourself trying to keep up with these expectations. Surrender to Christ and take on His yoke. And after all His burden, it's easy and light. Amen? You read His home in Matthew chapter 11, 28 to 30. Amen? Don't resist it. Pursue comfortable, but nature necessary part of following the Messiah Christ. Amen. Brethren, be encouraged. Be refreshed. I see this in Hebrew chapter 12, verse 2. Stay focused on Jesus, the author and perfecter of your faith. In Philippians chapter 4, 13, in him you can do all things, all things. Amen. In Him, hallelujah, we continue to ask God to fill us with the knowledge of His will through all the wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives us so that you may live the life worthy of the Lord and please Him in every ways, 
bearing the fruit in every good works, growing in the knowledge of the living God. In Colossians chapter 1, verse 9 to 10. Amen. I really want to encourage you today. It's process. Amen. Pruning is a process, brethren. That's why be refreshed by the presence of God. Many times our initial prayer is for God to deliver us from the situations. But leave, learn that God to deliver us from the test because the purpose of the test is actually to deliver us. Amen? It can't be difficult to understand why a good God allow us to go through trying situations. The reason is simple, brethren. Sanctification, like I mentioned. God is transforming us into the image of His Son, the Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus Christ. God tests us for good and really develop our faith in Him. Testing is not something we shall despise because it's chose to show the genuineness of our faith and glorify our living Lord, Savior, and Redeemer. Testing reveal what in us. Amen? This third, it will put this kind of test, it will put into the fire. And I will refine them like the silver, God say, and test them like the gold. They will call on my name and I will answer them. And I will say, they are my people. And they will say, the Lord is our God. Malachi chapter 3, verse 3. And I see the Bible tell us that God refined us like the silver and tests us like the gold. To understand that, look like practically, you first need to know how silver is refined. In short, the silversmith placed the silver in the fire and watch carefully the moment the change color. It know, he knows the silver is ready when he can clearly see his reflection or image in the metal. When you are in trial at test, in the process of pruning, does God see his image and character in you? Or are your carnal ways of thinking still pre pre present? In Galatians chapter 5, 19 to 23, do you exhibit the fruit of the Spirit or you are ex exhibiting act of the flesh? Testing remove impurities. As you grow in your faith, you begin passing more and more tests. Now the God has refined you. He testing you like the gold. Amen. Gold is naturally impure. And you, and you see the original gold is look like piece of stone. It's not shiny, not beautiful. It's officially is impure. To purify this, we see the jewelry, the goldsmith must put it into the furnace of repeatedly. We each pass through the fire, it become purer. Amen? This is why there are different carats of gold. I know they have also 9 carat, four car 14 carat, 21 carat. Oh, 24 carat is unbelievable. The higher that carat is purer is that with 24 carat being purest. If we want faith in God to pure and to end in an indestructible like the gold, our faith has to go through the fire again and again. Through we being made right with God through our faith in Messiah Christ Jesus. The remnant of our sinful nature is still within us. 
or sanctification don't happen all at once. It's process of pruning. Hallelujah. Dear friends, brothers and sisters in Messiah Yeshua, do not be surprised on fairy order that has come to you, test you, as through something strange were happening to you. But rejoice. You participated in the suffering of Christ so that you may be overjoyed when His glory is revealed. 1 Peter chapter 4, 12 to 13. Hallelujah. The cost of following Jesus Christ, if you fade, don't cost you anything. Is because it's nothing worth anything. To follow Christ, we must pick up a cross and deny ourselves day by day. This requires dying to our own desires and ways of thinking. The test we go through, we design to kill our flesh, so we live by the Spirit. It can't be struggle not to go back to self-medicating or finding your word in relationship. It's not easy to stay faithful and work what you are being overlooked or discredited. Trials feel like the complete opposite of what like in Messiah Christ shall be. But it's not. The purpose of the test is to grow you faith, free you from bandages, and increase your dependence on living God. Thank you, Lord. Friends, don't fear the fire, the tests and trials. Fire, it's only purify for us and the God's perfect purpose and destiny. Amen. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters. Whatever you face, trials of many kinds, because you know that testing of your faith produces miracles, signs, preservance. Hallelujah. Let preservance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking nothing. In book of James, chapter 1, from 2 to 4. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this short word of encouragement. Everyone who listened right now, heal their past. Lord, I know there's some people passing through difficult moment. But I know they become the pure gold. And they become reflection of the mirror of Messiah Christ. Like the silver, pure and clean. Lord, we give everything to you. All our hardship, our past, our burdens, our difficulties, our long thinking, all to you. You are the healer. You are the Savior. You are Redeemer. You are true Abba Father who never leave us and never forsake us. Yes, and amen. Yeshua, the Messiah. You are the hope and you are the purpose. You, we all of us in the pruning purpose and season of time. Yes and amen. With you today, Pastor Daniel Rosen from the heart of Jerusalem with a word of encouragement. Amen.